support and a message that uh, the anger of the people of South Africa is not directed against her. It is directed against uh, the Abacha regime. And uh, we are very proud of her, and she has our full support. Uh, she is uh, one of uh, the most uh, impressive uh, beauty queens and uh, normally should have start, stood a good chance uh, to win Miss World or at least uh, to be a princess. And um, it must be a great disappointment to her to have to leave because of the political situation in her country which is far beyond her own ability to address. And uh, I want her to know that uh, we are behind her, we are proud of her, and she must not regard this as uh, hostility by South the people of South Africa against you. And that is the reason why I have invited her here. But uh, I also want to add that uh, I think uh, the South African press, without being mischievous at all, I accept your integrity. But I think in this connection you have been grossly unfair to say to me that I betrayed the people of Nigeria. I would expect uh, any responsible journalist who writes on a, such an important issue to come to me because my doors are wide open to you, to say what is your explanation for this situation. Through this quiet diplomacy in which I have been involved, we have actually saved lives. I went there and spoke to a butcher. I have sent Archbishop Tutu. I have sent uh, Deputy President Tabonberg. I have sent the Deputy Minister Aziz Pahar. When Thabo Mbeki went there, he got an undertaking from Abacha that uh, he was not going to execute the 41 people who had been sentenced together with General Ab uh, uh, Obasanjo for plotting, for plotting a coup. They had been sentenced to death. And he undertook uh, that uh, the military review Council was going to address this matter in the light of my uh, representation. That was done, and that sentence was commuted to life. It is those 41 who are now 43 because we've ordered, uh, uh, added General of Basanjo as well as Chief Abiola. It is those 43 that who are now demanding that they should be released in addition to the uh, introduction of uh, democratic <coughs> reforms. The 43 which you say were executed as a slap in the face of Mbeki is absolutely due to lack of information on your part because these were totally different. These were people who were sentenced for ordinary crimes like murder, theft, robbery in Lagos and they were executed. executed. We have never concerned ourselves with uh, people who are charged with ordinary crimes. Our concern has been people who are politically motivated in the offenses alleged. And we save those people. And yet, in spite of the fact that I've mentioned this before, not a single one of you has mentioned this effect. And uh, all that uh, many of you are saying is that we've betrayed the people of uh, Nigeria. There is also the question which I mentioned the day I returned, raised by Jerry Rawlings, the president of Ghana, who said it's unfair to expect, he raised this formally in the meeting of the Commonwealth, <clears throat> when he said it's unfair to expect the South African president to use his moral authority to influence Abacha when the countries that are in a position to do so, like uh, the United Kingdom, the United States, who have extensive trade relations, uh, who could apply all sanctions and bring a butcher to his knees, have not done anything, and you are saying nothing about that. 
all that you are doing, you are concentrating on the South African president. I think that is completely unfair. And, uh, but this is the true record. But in any case, I'm concerned here uh, with the beauty queen, not with those issues. And uh, I'm very happy that I'm able to indicate to her that uh, we have no personal grudges against her. And that what is happening in this country is aimed against the Apache government. Thank you.